My first YouTube video is pretty cringy, but I've left it posted because I believe in showing growth. This is what I've done in my career, my music, and my YouTube channel. Today, I'm critiquing and improving my first ever YouTube cover of the song Jack and Diane by John Mellencamp. <laughs> My name's Trevor Hunt. If you're new here, thanks for coming. If you're not new here, welcome back. I'm glad to see your beautiful face. What we're gonna do is watch a chunk of the video together and then I'm gonna tell you every single detail I would improve. Then I'll show you the improved shot. My goal is to show you that you can grow just like I have in the last five years. If you wanna watch the whole video, it's on my channel. You can go watch it or you can just hang out with me for the next 30 seconds and see enough of it to make you cringe right here. <laughs> Let's jump in. I don't mind the intro. The intro is nice and short. Jack and Diane, two American kids growing up in the heartland. Jack is gonna be a football star. Diane's Debbie Tom backseat of Jackie's car. Sam. Okay, I wanna stop it there. That was about 30 seconds of the song. What I'm gonna do, because I have a lot of thoughts flowing through my head and I don't wanna get distracted, is I'm going to make two lists on the video for you. I'm gonna do video and audio. I'm gonna critique both of those. So in a second, you'll see them pop up as I read them off. I think it'll be easier for you to see them while I say them. That way you can see exactly what I would switch if I were like the producer of the next video. And we're gonna start with how it looks right now. The angle of the shot is not good. I remember setting a MacBook Air up and just just on like a TV stand and it was pointing kind of like under my chin, which just feels awkward to me. I would lift it up to where it was kind of doing a downward angle to catch more of the guitar and kind of more of the shot as well. The lighting is bad. That lighting is legitimately just windows and I think maybe a garage lamp light, if I remember right. There's no depth to the background. I'm sitting right against the wall, which is a huge mistake if you want to give depth to a video. You need to be closer to the camera and have the wall deep behind you. The next thing, I think the clothes that I'm wearing are extremely boring and unartistic. If you're gonna post something that's a cover and you want it to be at all capturing visually, you need to wear something that's interesting visually. Next thing I would do is stop looking into the camera. I remember doing this. My biggest concern was, I don't wanna mess up. It was so bad that I didn't perform the song. I just kind of, oh yeah, laugh goes. I was so nervous that I couldn't even get into it. And I felt like I had to stare at the people watching me the whole time. It's weird. Like if someone sang this live and was just staring at you, you'd be like, what is wrong with this guy? I hate it. It's so cringe. I hate watching myself. The next thing, I need to get into the song. My performance itself is just lackluster, at least these first 30 seconds. If I was watching this video as a bystander, I would have already clicked out. And if I look at my watch time, that's probably what's happened. By about the first 30 seconds, people click out because it's not interesting. I'm not into it. I'm not performing. I'm just trying not to mess up. All right, so that's a lot of visual stuff. Let's take a look at the audio things that I would change. First thing I would do, the audio needs to be louder. I would master it, even though it's just guitar and vocals, so that it would sound louder on YouTube itself. I think that the low end needs some EQ. I, I didn't know how to EQ at all. And since I played guitar and sang together, it just, it could really need boosted on that end. My voice sounds so empty and weak. I think it's because I'm so far away from the, from the mic. I'm singing a higher song and there's no low end on it. The other um, audio parts I would fix, I needed vo vocal lessons. I was pretty pitchy right in that beginning. I think the song is too high for me, knowing my vocals now. Um, I actually took vocal lessons for a year after filming this video. And if I did it again, Again, which I'm going to, I'm gonna lower the key to something a little more comfortable for my range. That's all the audio stuff. With all that being said, take a look at my new and improved version, at least the first 30 seconds, of Jack and Diane. <laughs> A little ditty about Jack and Diane. Two American kids growing up in the heartland. Jack is gonna be a football star Diane's debit topic seat of Jack is car is sin Now that we've seen the improvements, please know 
This isn't just so that I can like do some weird flex and show people how much better I've gotten, but instead I'm hoping that I can inspire anyone pursuing any pursuit, mainly musicians, that if you keep working, you can get better. There's so many aspects of performance that we need to get good at and that takes time. That takes time. I, I once heard Ed Sheeran say, you've got to put in a thousand shows before you get good. You've got to get through the junk before you get to the good. Also, I know this cover isn't perfect. I'm not the best musician in the world, but I'm working on it. I'm growing. I'm improving. And that's my point here people. That's my point. Let me know in the comments if you think I made it better And if you'd like to see me do this again, I've got plenty of cringy covers we could improve upon Baby, thank you so much for watching if you haven't yet like the video subscribe God bless you and your family and as always take it easy Oh yeah, they say life goes on Long after the thrill of living is gone Gonna let it rock nothing Check it says then. Oh yeah, life goes on. Long after the thrill of living is gone. Oh, let the bubble bell come and see my soul. Hold on to 16 as long as you can. Change is coming round real soon, make us women and men.